Seven reasons to move to Central Florida, Orlando area. Stick around. Hello and welcome to Orlando Home Show, Real Estate Talks with D. In this video, I'm going to discuss seven reasons to move to Central Florida. Number one, weather. How ironic it is, it is one of the reasons not to move, but it's also one of the reasons to move to Central Florida. You know, if you like outdoors, then this is a place to be. I remember early in my career, I used to live in Milwaukee and Chicago, and I absolutely loved the summer. But here comes winter, I was miserable. So if you are a kind of person that likes to go out on a walk, on a run, you like that, then this is a place and for some reason, sun just makes you feel better. So this is one of the top reasons to move to Central Florida, Orlando area. Number two, connect to nature. Besides all the bugs and crocs and alligators that we have, we also have one of the most beautiful wildlife preserves here in Central Florida. There's several parks that you could go to and just observe nature. There's tons and tons of lake and ponds. You can go kayaking. You could do a lot of things, fishing, golfing. It's, it's a great place. And if you like all those things, then that is one of the reasons to move to sunny Central Florida, Orlando area. Number three. There is always something to do besides the parks that we have like Disney World, Universal, SeaWorld. There's always something to do. We have some great suburbs and cities and they have community events that you could go to like just going to celebration for Christmas in the snow or the 4th of July firework. There are a lot of places and there's always something to do. So if you are outdoors and you like to go out and do something else besides the park, then we have those things in Central Florida. Number four, golf course. We have one of the top most golf courses in Central Florida, whether that be in Champions Great Reunion, whether that be in Celebration. You know, if you like golfing, this is a place to be. If you are into fishing, there's tons and tons of little lakes and ponds around that you could go and just enjoy the time with your family and go around uh, fish around. Or you can also go to the, the deep sea fishing in Cocoa, which is about 45 to an hour, or in Detona, which is about an hour or hour and 30 minutes to Tampa. So there's a lot of options other than just the parks that we have. So this is a great place um, for you if you wanna do golfing or even fishing. Number five, affordability. Now, Central Florida has one of the most affordable homes still compared to rest of the country, such as Oregon, Boston, California, you know, where you spend seven, eight hundred thousand to get a little shack. The average median price is below 300,000 for Central Florida area, and you still can get a three bedrooms, two bathroom, about 1,400 square foot in a good area. So the affordability is still really low. So if you are looking to raise a family and have a house and not a little shack, then this is a place to be. Number six, top cities. Now, Central Florida is home to a few of the top cities that has been on the trend before, such as Oviedo, Hunters Creek, Dr. Phillips, and not to mention Lake Nona. It is the happening place in Central Florida right now with tons of things happening. Over $700 million VA center that just got built a few years ago. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure that you check a few of my videos I have uh, done videos for properties in Lake Nona and in other suburban areas for you to check those out. Number seven, one of the main reason that we have a lot of people moving to Florida and more so to Central Florida as such, other than everything that I told you, is that there's no state income tax. That is correct. There's no state income tax. And the sale tax is just six and a half percent. And guess what? There is no tax on your groceries. The sale tax we have is only six and a half percent, which is compared to other places a lot lower, California, New York. But at the same time, you don't have to pay taxes on your groceries, you know, your bread, your milk, your tomato, potato, and whatnot. Now that we know the seven reasons to move to Central Florida, you must be wondering, what kind of a house should I buy, Dean? Should I buy a condo? Should I buy a townhome? Should I buy a single family detached home? Well, to know more, click here, the video on that. Thank you.